everybody. It's Judy, your energy chef here. And I am here today to make my fried riced cauliflower. And it is so delicious. And I'm going to do it the quick way. This is not the way that it's in my recipe book or on a recipe that you'll get if you ask for it. But I'm going to do the quick and easy way because I'm getting a lot of um, information. Let me just turn on my... Uh, I'm actually going to do this on the stove, which is a first for me, so please bear with me. Um, and you probably can't see very well here, but I hope you can hear okay. So people have been asking me uh, that, you know, oh gosh, I don't have the machinery you have, I don't have all those gadgets, so... How can I make something just like you're making, but with a simpler way? So I went to the store and I found the, the, the healthy cheats. And those healthy cheats we're gonna use today. So this is only gonna take a few minutes. So my, my skillet is heating. Um, I'm gonna use olive oil in my uh, recipe. It's coconut oil, that has to melt. This does not. Just a couple shakes to make sure that the uh, you know the bottom of the pan is coated well so uh, in typical fried rice there are eggs so we're going to use a couple of eggs now your eggs are going to help you with protein right so um, if you're vegan this uh, you may want to use a different type of substitute but i'm using real eggs and so you can actually hear those sizzle and um, just add them to the pan can you hear that oh my gosh so delicious I love the just the sound of cooking food and uh, you just want to go ahead and scramble those it takes a moment or two to do that and um, we use, we use, we're using a whole egg. That's going to add some color to our dish. Um, after those, that egg is already pretty well done because we're going to continue cook, cooking. Now, in my regular recipe, I take an onion and I chop it. So what I did instead is a, a couple tablespoons of just dried onions. And going to add those. Mix them in. Next, um, a couple of tablespoons of broth. You can use any kind of broth. Doesn't make any difference. Vegetable, chicken, beef, whatever you're using. And I want to turn this down. Oh, some more scrumptious sound. Can you hear that? Next, I think you can get shredded carrots in the store. Am I correct? I, I don't know because I've never looked for them because I like everything, you know, raw and healthy and everything. But carrots, um, if you want to um, get a grater and just grate them, I timed myself. I did it by hand. I usually do it in my machine, but uh, today I did it by hand, and it took about um, one minute, almost, to do this whole carrot, and so you mix that up. Look at that. Mm. So uh, that's going to just cook for a moment. The next thing is a third of a head of riced cauliflower now that takes some time to do i realize that and now you know so many things are available healthy in the regular grocery stores you don't have to go to a fresh market or a specialty store this is riced cauliflower that i purchased um frozen and if you can see it's still frozen. All I did was open up the bag and put it in this measuring cup. This measures out to about one and a half cups. And that's going to be adequate for this dish. And now you just want to mix it all up. You want to um, let it cook for just a little bit. You know, cauliflower is so good for us. And it's so versatile. You, you go to the um, grocery store and you can find actually cauliflower crust, cauliflower everything. Uh, because when it's cooked and it's 
merged with other uh, vegetables, you can't really taste the, the pungence of the cauliflower. And this is going to be true with, um, with this recipe also. So I made a practice one the other day and served it uh, to my husband. And uh, he didn't even say anything. I said, do you want some fried cauliflower for dinner? And he said, sure. So I made him that. And he, he, the second time he made it, the second time he ate it, he asked, is, uh, is this like riced cauliflower? And uh, of course, I didn't lie to him. I said, yes, it is. But he continued to eat it. So he must have liked it OK. Well, you know, that's basically it. So uh, one of the benefits of cauliflower that I was going to tell you about is it is so good for digestion. You know, if people have, and I hate to, uh, we're talking about food here, but sometimes we have some bowel issues and uh, this really helps with that. So if you have any questions about that, you can certainly connect with me and, and we can talk about that. Um, how to how to get things moving again, so to speak. But this is it. It's done. Uh, let's see if it's warm enough. I want to taste it just a little bit. It is. It's warm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So I just want to plate this up so you can see it because <laughs> jet neat and talk. This is what it looks like in the pan. So I'm just going to put it in a bowl. And I like to add it, add a little bit of green, whoops, green on the top because it just looks pretty. And um, my recipe has chives and uh, it's winter in this neck of the woods and my chives went to sleep. So what I did is I did scallions on the top and that's the recipe that's the dish uh, all completed you know scallions and onions are also something that's really good for uh, not only digestion but for your cardiovascular system who knew right so when we're when we're looking at food that we're consuming you really want to be aware is it going to support my health or is it going to impact my health possibly in a negative way? Well, I prefer to eat food most of the time in ways that it's going to support my health. Um, you know, we, we want to live as healthy as long as we can, right? And so many of my friends, my customers aren't on any type of medication. And I truly believe it's because of the way that they eat and they supplement because sometimes our old lifestyle does catch up with us. I know it happened to me and um, I started on nitric oxide therapy, different story, but one of the things that I do to keep myself healthy and eating great foods, just another way. So this is Judy, your energy chef. And make sure that you're doing something today to take care of your health. Because tomorrow is too late. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yesterday is too late. Tomorrow is not soon enough. Today is the day to take care of your health. So this is Judy, your energy chef. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you have any questions, please feel free to connect with me. I'm always open to conversation. Thanks and everyone, you have a great day. And I'm just gonna put this up here so everyone can see this. Uh, awesome, bye-bye.